Recapture, AR guided time lapse photography by Lu Yu Yan, Jia Tian Sun, Long Shulin Deng, and Abe Davis. Most of us take pictures to capture memories, to freeze moments and preserve them in time. But some memories don't happen in a single moment. They form slowly in change that takes time to reveal. This is where time lapse video offers a powerful way to look at the world. But time lapse is hard to capture. It usually requires leaving a tripod fixed in the scene for a long period of time, which may be difficult or even impossible in public or uncontrolled settings. And this leaves the camera occupied for the duration of capture, which means you need to duplicate the setup if you want to capture multiple subjects or viewpoints at the same time. So our work introduces ReCapture, designed to help users capture time lapse with the phone or tablet they already carry. The idea is to use augmented reality to guide users back to the precise viewpoint from which previous images were taken. By recapturing these viewpoints, users can build time lapse video frame by frame over time. We provide three different modes for capturing new scenes, each optimized for a specific capture scenario. Overlay mode uses a simple overlay of the target image on the user's screen. Similar overlays have been used in previous work on composition assistance in photography. We found this interface worked well for distant subjects like landscapes. Our light field mode is similar to coverage map based interfaces used in prior work on image based rendering. Rather than quickly capturing a specific target image, the light field interface assists in capturing a larger number of images that can be used to reconstruct the scene later on. Our third interface is a novel design targeted at helping users precisely rephotograph subjects that are closer to the camera. In our research, we studied how and when each of the three designs works best for capturing time lapse, which you can read more about in our academic publication linked from the project website. We also turned this project into an iOS application, which you can download for free from the Apple App Store. One of our findings was that for most people, the application works best when you use our simplest interface, the overlay mode, to capture relatively far away scenes, especially for things that you encounter regularly in your day-to-day -day life. For example, here's a view from the window of my apartment. And here's some construction that I pass by every morning on my way into the lab. It also works well in very planar scenes. For example, this is a suggestion board at one of my favorite local restaurants. To start a new overlay capture in our public app, just tap New Target and give your time lapse a name. Then you'll capture the scene from whatever viewpoint you want to use for the time lapse. Here, it's useful to pick a spot that's easy to remember in your environment. It'll help you find the same spot later on. You may even consider steadying your device on a surface. This tends to lead to especially stable results. When you're happy with the framing of the shot, tap Save. Later on, when you open the app, it should sort your targets by their distance from your current GPS location. So the one that you're looking for is usually going to be near the top. Select it and pick Recapture Mode to add new images to the time lapse. With overlay guidance, you'll see the original image overlaid on top of the current view. You can swipe on the screen to change how transparent this overlay is, which helps to realign your shot. When you take a picture, you can compare it to the target or tap Align to see the app's best guess alignment of the two images. If you're happy with it, tap Save. Now if you go back to the main screen and enter View Mode for the target, you can see what your time lapse looks like. Here you can select a subset of the images to view or resort by time of day, but the easiest thing to do is either view all or export the image as a GIF. To learn more about the other capture modes or what we found in our academic study, check out our publication on the project website. Thanks for watching.